So guess who's back in the spotlight? Yup, it's Donald Trump. But this time, it's not for his usual political antics. It's because he's come out with a hot take on Taylor Swift. Apparently, the man who never backs down from a fight thinks he can handle the Swifties. Good luck, Mr. Trump, you're gonna need it. Trump said, I hate Taylor Swift. Wow, strong words. That's like saying you hate puppies and rainbows. What's next? Is he gonna say he dislikes pizza too? I mean, come on, Trump. Going against Taylor Swift is like trying to outdo an eclipse. You don't stand a chance. The real kicker here is the timing. Why now? Oh right, Taylor endorsed Kamala Harris. Duh. Because nothing says mature political discourse like dragging a pop star into the mix. Clearly, Trump didn't shake it off even though he told all of us he would during his presidency. Can you imagine the board meeting where Trump's team discussed this? All right, sir, next on the agenda, to endorse Swift or not endorse Swift, should we set up a Twitter poll? And Trump was all, polls don't matter, I hate her. Epic leadership decision. Taylor's fans, AKA the Swifties, are probably writing diss tracks and witty tweets as we speak. Look what you made me do. We are never ever getting back together. The playlist is endless, and every track just cutting through Trump's ego like a hot knife through butter. Gosh, someone grabbed the popcorn. Meanwhile, Kamala Harris is just sitting back, sipping tea, and watching this circus unfold. Can you blame her? She didn't even have to say anything. This is like a celebrity roast without the need for any professionals. Just Trump and his mouth doing the heavy lifting. Pure gold. But let's pause for a second, folks. What do you think? Is this the feud of the century or just another headline to scroll past? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Should we pop some popcorn for the drama or just shake it off? Like and subscribe, please.